वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम फोर डैश एटीन सो स्टेटमेंट इज कॉलर ए कैन स्लाइडली कैन स्लाइड फ्रीली अलॉन्ग द स्मूथ वर्टिकल गाइड इफ सपोर्टिंग रॉड ए बी इज मेड ऑफ थ्री जीरो फोर स्टेनलेस स्टील एंड हैज डायमीटर ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट सेवन फाइव इंच डिटरमाइन द वर्टिकल डिसप्लेसमेंट ऑफ कॉलर वेन पी इज टेन के सो दिस इज द कॉलर ए दैट कैन स्लाइडली दैट कैन स्लाइड फ्रीली ओवर दिस रॉड and there is a supporting rod ab that is made of 3014 stainless steel and this diameter is 0.75 inch so when p is applied that is 10 kips so uh, you have to determine the vertical displacement of this rod so let's start with the solution so first step will be that we will find internal loading and before that this angle which this supporting rod made with this vertical axis is theta so theta we know that tangent of theta will be equal to perpendicular over base so perpendicular is this and base is this so it will be 1.5 divided by 2 so from here you will get this theta and this theta will be equal to 36.87 degree now internal loading can be found by if you take this point a as a reference so i will draw it over here let this is the place where uh, there is a load of 10 kips p is applied p is equal to 10 kips and the load in rod ab is will be represented like this okay so this is load fab force in rod ab is fab and this is making a angle of theta clear and there will be a horizontal uh, force which is represented as n at point a so we will find this fa by using equation of equilibrium that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive so you can see that one force which is acting downward is p which is minus 10 so minus 10 the other force is this fb will have two force one is fby and other will be fb x so i will write f b a b x component and f a b y component so the y component will be minus f a b y component their sum must be equal to 0 and if you take uh, cos of theta clear so cos of theta will be equal to base which is f a b so f a b y divided by hypotenuse which is fab so from here you will get this vertical component fb y will be fab y f ab y component will be equal to fab cos of theta so i will write fab y component will be equal to minus 10 so f a b y is f a b cos of theta that is minus 10 so f a b will be equal to minus 10 divided by cos of theta and theta is 36.87 degree so when you solve this you will get this f a b and f a b will be minus 12.5 kips so this is the internal loading in rod ab clear next we will find the displacement so we have this rod so this rod is in compression so we know that change in length of rod ab is equal to force in ab into length of ab divided by area of ab into e so what is length of rod ab so length of rod ab you know that this is 1.5 and this is 2 so by using pythagoras theorem we have length of rod ab is 1.5 square 
plus 2 square and that will give you 2.5 feet so this length is 2.5 feet now what is the area of a b so diameter of a b is given so we know that this is pi by 4 d a b square so pi by 4 diameter is given as 0 0.75 inch so 0 0.75 whole square so when you solve this you will get 0 0.4418 square inch so we have this we have this we have this what about e so e for uh, this 304 stainless steel can be fine can be obtained from the book that is given at the end material properties so let me show you so you have to take us customary unit because this is in pounds into feet so this is 401 and this is 304 stainless steel so this you can see this is 304 stainless steel having modulus of elasticity 28 into 10 to the power 3 ksi so i will write it over here e is 28 into 10 to the power 3 ksi kilo pound per square inch now you have all the values you can just put it del a b change in length of a b is force which is minus 12.5 into length length is 2.5 feet so we will convert it into inch so 2.5 into 12 because e is in inch ksi kilo pound per square inch and area is 0 0.4418 multiplied by k which is e which is 28 into 10 to the power minus 3 so when you solve it using calculator you will get change in length is 0 0.3 0 0.03032 inch so what does it means it means that if you draw it like vertical line which is 2 feet and the base which was 1.5 feet and this was rod a b which is which was 2.5 feet this is point a now it due to sliding motion it will come to this point for example this point so this was initial theta so you can see this was the point a and now it is in new point a dash so if i draw vertical line from here so it means that this was change in length of a b which is reduced due to the movement of this point to this point so we'll find this uh, uh, movement uh, we'll find this vertical displacement so if i draw a vertical line from this two points so this is basically a vertical displacement this is change in point a that is vertical so we'll find this del v del a v so how you will find this so if you take uh, cos of theta so cos of theta is now here this is equal to this is base and this is hypotenuse so cos of theta is base over hypotenuse so i will write cos of theta is del a b over del a vertical movement so we are interested to find out del a vertical so del a vertical is equal to del a b over cos of theta so del a b is minus 0 0.03032 clear and cos of theta so cos of 38 36.37 degree so we will get vertical displacement of point a will be equal to minus 0 0.0379 inch or you can say that this vertical displacement of point a is 
zero point zero three seven nine and it will be downward it will move downward so this was all about this problem 4-18 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my every latest video which i share if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching